हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू योर इंग्लिश टू क्लास सो चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ सेकेंड टर्म बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट मी टेल यू व्हाट आर द चैप्टर्स दैट आर कमिंग इन सेकेंड टर्म सो इफ यू ओपन योर कंटेंट पेज यू कैन मार्क द चैप्टर्स विच आर कमिंग इन सेकेंड टर्म आर विल स्टार्ट विद चैप्टर फाइव दैट इज नानी वॉक्स टू द पार्क then second is the poem rain drops then the man cup our classroom rabbit's turnip the songs of the train and poem trains okay so these are the uh, chapters and poems that are coming in second term so today we will uh, look this chapter 5 Nani walks to the park. So you all open page number thirty-three, chapter five. Nani walks to the park. So children, I will read out the story. You carefully listen how I am pronouncing the words in the same way you have to pronounce, and also uh, I will tell you the meaning of the difficult words, and obviously I will explain the chapter line wise. so children this story nani walks to the park nani as you all know nani means grandmother okay mother's mother is nani okay grandmother so in this chapter we see uh, there are two characters one is nani that is grandmother and the other character is a grandson a little child her nani is grandson and his name is vikas okay so there are two characters nani and vikas so uh, nani used to go on uh, daily basis for a evening walk so one day vikas also decides to join his nani on her walk to the park so actually nani goes to a park walking and all she goes to a park she spends some time she likes it so one day vikas also decides that he will uh, he will accompany his nani to the park so nani takes him on a long and wonderful walk okay instead of uh, you know taking um, a shortcut to the park nani takes him to different places and finally they reach the park so this story is not just about walking to a place uh, but also you know enjoying the walk and paying attention to um, things around us so this is a very interesting chapter how vikas enjoys different things while you know going to a park so let's start this chapter children once a week nani goes to a park today vikas wants to go with her so it is like once a week okay once in a week nani goes to a park and uh, that particular day vikas also wanted to accompany nani to the park he thought that he would also go with nani and he will enjoy in the park i walk slowly i take my time i get there says nani so nani says that um, is it po- um, it is possible that you might not enjoy because i am old and i walk slowly so you might get bored you know walking with me and reaching there taking a long time so nani told this thing to vikas i don't mind nani says vikas so vikas said it's okay nani even if you walk slow that is no problem i will also walk slowly with you Okay let's go says Nani she picks up her shopping bag and starts to cross the road so Nani was okay like okay if you have no problem in walking slowly with me so that's okay you can come with me and then she picks up her shopping bag and she starts to cross the road but Nani says Vikas the park is this way now Vikas knew which way is the park and Nani was going the other way so vikas told maybe nani has forgotten the way so he should remind her so he said that nani park is uh, one way and you are going the to the other way we'll go that way says nani pointing ahead 
Let's go through the land of treasures. Now see how interestingly Nani says that I know path is the on the other way, but I've decided to take this way. And yes, because you are coming with me, so it should be interesting. So let me show you the land of treasures. So children, um, in the this uh, bottom of this uh, page, you can see there are some word meanings given. I will just read out the word meanings. Nani means grandmother. Take my time. Use a lot of time to do something without hurrying. Lane means street or road. Treasures, beautiful and valuable things. So, Nani says that I will take you to the, to the lane of treasures. So, treasure means what? Treasure means valuable things where you can. So, what Nani means is that she will take, uh, to, uh, she will take Vikas to market, okay, and uh, where um, she, they sell milk and other things that Nani could buy for her um, this daily household purpose. So Nani calls this uh, not simply not calling market, but she is calling lane of treasures. Okay, so it is basically a market where she could buy um, the things which she requires for her home. The lane of treasures. What a wonderful name for the market. The shops here sell everything. Nani stops to buy milk and other things. Now Vikas was very astonished to see how nicely Nani is not simply calling it market but calling it the lane of treasures. So where she can you know everything you want to buy you can get it there and uh, Nani wants to buy milk and few other things. So he was happy to hear the name lane of treasures for the market. Let's turn the page. When Nani finishes shopping, Vikas points to a gate. Shall we take a shortcut to the Nani, uh, to the park, Nani? Now, when they finish shopping, so Vikas thought that okay, now let us take shortcut and we can reach park a little early. So he thought uh, that he would tell Nani and they could take shortcut. No, smiles Nani. We have to go to the lane of happiness first. Now Nani has other things going on in her mind. Okay. So she denied. She said no. We will not take the shortcut. But instead we will go through the lane of happiness. So first we saw lane of treasures. Now what lane is coming? Lane of happiness. So why lane of happiness? Let's see. So they walk ahead and turn left into a small lane. Nani stops and calls softly. Come, come. Suddenly dogs and cats tumble out from everywhere. Tumble out means roll out from all directions. So what happens here? Nani calls out uh, come, come and suddenly what happens? Dogs and cats suddenly they are all uh, coming from all the directions and uh, in front of Nani. Nani pours some milk into some bowls. Vikas laughs as the animals lick their bowls clean. Now, Nani had already taken the milk. So, uh, maybe one packet she must have brought for these animals. So, she took a bowl and she pours the milk into the bowl. And these animals very happily, they just licked the uh, milk out of the bowl. And they make, made it very clean. And looking this, Vikas was laughing, was very happy to see them lick their bowls clean. Then Nani and Vikas, okay, so now children, this thing also tells that how the nature of um, this Nani, that she's so, you know, uh, kind-hearted and she cares for even the stray animals. So she, this shows how Nani is a gentle and kind-hearted lady. Then Nani and Vikas walk through a lane behind a little school. They see many children laughing and playing. They are playing games like Langri, Langori and Sakli. So this Langri, Langori, Sakli, these are the names of games children. The street games which we play here, yeah, that is the name. So you might also play some games and give names to them. So next Nani, start, Nani and Vika started walking and they are going through the back of the school and they are hearing a lot of noise of children. They are playing some games. Is this the lane of noise? Ask Vikas covering his ears. Now, by now, Na uh, Vikas uh, has understood that Nani has a habit of giving names according to uh, the situation or the place where they are going. So, because 
children were playing noise was made so he thought maybe this is the uh, lane of uh, noise so he asked nani is this the lane of noise no it's the lane of mischief it makes me think of you and your friends laughs nani so mischief means naughtiness naughty behavior so nani says this is not the lane of noise but it's the lane of mischief because it makes me uh, think or it may it reminds me of uh, you that is vikas and his friends and nani starts laughing okay so uh, have you named all the lanes in the city nani asks vikas not all smiles nani only the ones that are important to me come let's go to the lane of friendship so now vikas wonders is it like nani is giving names to all the lanes in the city so nani says no why will i name all the cities only the lanes where i go regularly i name them now nani next says that let's go to the lane of friendship now why it is lane of friendship nani's friend lives in the lane of friendship they were girls together and they have grown old together nani and her friend talk and laugh for some time then nani hugs her friend and says goodbye so now you know why she names her friendship because nani's friends uh, they live there and now they are also as old as nani and because of her friends they she goes and meets them and so she calls it a lane of friendship so she had a little talk with her friends and she talks and then they you know they have a good time together and then they bid goodbye to each other come vikas we will now walk to the lane of dreams now here comes the lane of dreams sapna says nani the lane of dreams has more books than vikas school library now here the lane of dreams maybe may a street where you know the used books are sold second hand books are sold so there are many uh, shops where these second hand books are being sold so uh, nani, nani says that uh, the this uh, lane of dreams has more books than your school library and now why it is uh, lane of dreams children because you know when you read books you know it takes you to uh, it takes us to different people in different uh, land okay that we may not be able to visit okay so she calls it a lane of dreams like suppose you are reading a um, uh, book where there is a fairy land or you know some la la land is there and we are in reality we will not be able to go there so it's like a we reach uh, in the land it's like a dream okay uh, because it is not possible in uh, real uh, life so it is called land of lay a uh, dream lane of dreams because there are books and books takes us to different uh, land the bookseller sells old books for very little money and because it is a second hand book so the cost is also very less nani buys some books and says let's go we are almost at the park now now see by going through different lanes like lane of treasures lane of happiness lane of mischief lane of friendship lane of dreams now nani says that let's um, go down and uh, we are almost near the park nani and vikas have to walk down the lane of magic to reach the park one more lane has come that is the lane of magic jadu okay vikas looks up at the big shady trees and feels a cool breeze the road is covered in red and yellow flowers it looks like a magic carpet why it looks like a magic carpet because it is covered all covered with red and yellow flowers from the trees on either side of the road so it is like a magic carpet so it looks so magically beautiful that nani calls it the lane of magic so you know it gives it shows the beauty of the nature at last they are at the park vikas thinks of all the people and places he has seen i like your lanes nani he says 
can i come with you next week too so see now vikas has enjoyed so much he has uh, met so many people he has uh, um, gone through different lanes he you know he enjoyed the happiness of looking uh, at the animals you know licking milk and and one thing more why those animals immediately came when nani called out because it might be possible that nani was going there regularly so the animals knew why nani is calling them so when she calls immediately these all the cats and dogs they came out to you know have uh, milk from the bowl so yes vikas was so uh, happy and so impressed by this walk that he asked nani that if he could accompany nani next week too so children this is the uh, story and you know what a uh, moral this story gives that it teaches at us that doing things to children okay not just by telling them but making the children do the things by doing things to children is the best way to teach children life's lesson right and this is a story uh, which tells about the relationship between a little child and his grandmother and the friendship they share the bond they share and the things they do together enables the boy to see the things as his nanny sees you know beneath the surface and it also helps him enjoy um, her connection with uh, you know stray animals uh, with her old friends with books and also with the beauty of the nature so children this is the story i hope you have understood the story so please go through the story read once twice thrice and also learn the word meanings which are given um, on every page so yes this is the story thank you